With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, question given is that which of the following acids would have a stronger conjugate base? So here uh, some of the structures has given H2O, H, first of all H2 is H2O compound 1, 2, B is that 3, uh, 4, uh, 2 structures has been given and C a pair in that pair an alkyne and alkene has been given. So out of that 1, 2 and out of 3, 4 and out of 5, 6 which one should be st having stronger conjugate base that we have to discuss here. So chalo, let's start first of all uh, we should see in between H2S and H2O. Conjugate base means H2S whenever loses proton the respective in equilibrium the respective uh, other anion formed is known as conjugate base so it can be dissociated as, uh, dissociated as HS minus plus H plus so H2S if act as an acid it will be behaving HS minus basically will be behaving as a conjugate base shortcut I am writing CB so this was compound 1's conjugate base now if H2O is dissociated that H2O will form H plus except H plus whatever is formed that is OH minus is conjugate base now out of this 1 and 2 which will form more strong conjugate base or stronger conjugate base we can say so basically OH minus is conjugate base stronger why stronger why between that two H2S and H, uh, H2O H, uh, H2O forms OH minus that is stronger conjugate base than that of HS minus basically oxygen has high electronegativity so as it will have high electronegativity it will have a tendency to capture the proton and it will basically form H2O prominently OH minus will capture the proton for the high electronegativity of oxygen because it is having some electron affinity and also electron affinity of oxygen is higher so it can accept the proton easily and it will come back to water whereas HS minus cannot very proficiently takes uh, takes H plus ion and it will be back to H2S so basically OH minus will be stronger conjugate base that is one of the reason and electronegativity and high electron affinity also electron affinity EA I am writing short Another reason is that oxygen hydrogen bond whenever OH minus capture the proton water is formed so it will have the structure like H2O has uh, structure like this so backward reaction with oxygen hydrogen bond will be strong enough rather than that H2S because sulfur is larger in size oxygen is smaller in size so smaller size compound smaller size atom can bind with another smaller size hydrogen very strongly why because the covalent bond will be very very strong here in that case so OH minus definitely will uh, capture proton very easily and it will come back to water but HS minus cannot capture H plus as easily like that of uh, OH minus and it will come back to H2S basically OH minus captures very easily H plus HS minus cannot capture, uh, capture H plus very easily so smaller due to the smaller size of oxygen so we can say as OH minus capture H plus very easily it is a stronger conjugate base right because base can capture acid very proficiently so we have explained the reason for first part so 2 is the from first part 2 is the stronger conjugate base we have marked 2 and we have given a tick now next pair I will compare for pair B pair B we have to draw the structure again pair B we will draw the structure this was pair A this was uh, this is pair B where I will draw the structure NH whereas C double bond O C double bond O now if this H plus is lost so from the first part we will get here this is diketone and here in nitrogen we will get minus charge plus H plus and this is compound 3 and compound 3 as well as compound 4 is given here that is C double bond O NH right here only monoketone is there means only one C double bond O is present so if this H plus is lost we will get C double bond O N minus plus H plus right so basically we can say from here 
this n minus can be delocalized over the c double bond o in both the sides means the this n minus charge is very stable right why because this n minus charge get delocalized with double bond o here two double bond o are present with respect to the uh, n minus at this is alpha carbon this is beta carbon so in, in beta carbon it will be delocalized very easily here two ketones are there so delocalize uh, delocalization of n minus electrons charge is very very good in that compound but here n minus can only de delocalize with c double bond o in uh, with respect to one ketone two ketones are not there so here n minus will be as n minus charge will be delocalized in two ketone so n minus charge density is less but in that compound n minus is delocalized with one ketone so charge density of n minus is very high so it can capture the proton and it will come back to the uh, original uh, um, compound very easily so we can say this is strong conjugate base strong conjugate base why because this n minus capture the proton very easily because this charge density of n minus is very high in comparison with that n minus whereas this n minus will delocalize with two ketone and here this n minus delocalize with only one ketone so also we have got the answer among the three and four which one is the highest conjugate base four we have given a tick mark here also next we will compare the next one uh, pair c we will compare pair c if you see pair c we have an alkyne ch3 c triple bond ch and an alkene ch3 ch double bond ch2 right so basically in this alkyne if proton is lost very easily you will get ch3 c triple bond c minus c this carbon is sp hybridized carbon this is also sp hybridized carbon here these two carbons are sp2 carbon as because one two three covalent bond here one two covalent bond so sp carbon negative charge on sp carbon is very much stable whereas if this proton has been lost we will get ch3 ch double bond ch minus plus h plus whereas sp2 carbon uh, um, cannot uh, hold negative charge very proficiently so we can say sp carbon consists of negative charge is very stable so this one is very stable that carbon ion formed is very stable and that is strong acid means alkyne is strong acid so if alkyne is strong acid the conjugate base that is negative charge that is very much stable is weak base because we know if any acid is strong the uh, its conjugate base is weak base weak base that is conjugate base conjugate base should be weak here conjugate base weak conjugate base here we are getting but this is not as much as stable like that of alkyne carbocation this negative charge is not stable here so it is having a tendency it is as it is not stable so it is having a tendency to again capture the h plus and it will uh, go back to the backward reaction more easily rather than that of previous one so if you compare the five this one is five and six we can say here six will be stronger conjugate base stronger conjugate base cb so i will give a tick mark here so our answer is 2 comma 4 comma 6 will be the stronger conjugate base now i will show you the option option a is the correct option 2 comma 4 comma 6 should be our stronger pair of conjugates base thank you all for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today